You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Your mind wonders. If the crossbow bolt shot through her mouth, would she taste the metal before she died? Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiefling. If you mm. ever had it to begin with. Your mind wanders that the crossbow bolt shot through her mouth. Would she taste the metal before she died? <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, step between the crossbow and the goblin. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him too. You, move. Oh, God. Oh, we're just gonna scare everybody instead of persuasion. I'm glad I got three bad rolls out of the way right there. Damn you. Damn it. Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? If she dies, she'll take everything she knows to the grave. If you believe anything the beast tells you, you're an idiot. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Let me out, you bunch of softies! Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something, well, rather important. Rather important, no less? All right, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils. Overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. In short, I've grown to trust you. Well, that's very gratifying to hear. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul except for my cat you see I have this condition very different from the parasite we share but just as deadly is it contagious and contagious no no nothing like that now if I fail to treat it then the consequences would not be contained to me alone what it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Your illness causes you to consume raw magic. I'm gonna need the details. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. Where do we suggest we find these artifacts? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard one such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost.
I, I expected much. Don't worry, I'm happy to help. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. Also, oh, you thieves are all never had cause to visit a druid's grove before. Magic weighs heavier here, seeking solace in root and soil, grounding, one might say. And your birdies, and your dogs. Ain't sure why you're protecting me. Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends warg me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the absolute and hang you by your guts. I just save your life, show some gratitude. They'll peel your face off and nail it to a wall. I ain't scared of some god. Stick a dozen arrows in me and priestess god still patch me up. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <gasps> Mighty Booyog. Booyog. The goblin word for magic. Primitive to a fault, but not entirely without merit. Well, I'd certainly like to meet her. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? You already told me what I need to know. I'll find the priestess myself. <laughs> Even if you did find my tribe, they'd set the wargs on you. You need me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. Not a chance. You can run that cage. Suit yourself. Looking forward to seeing what your innards look like. Let me out, you bunch of softies. Shame the goblins didn't kill me, Good too. Good work, kids. You're all heroes. Did you say that? And every one of you. I'm just sad <clears throat> and bored. How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? Go on. Give me a best shot. <laughs> Not bad. Again. Do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. It's good advice, child. You do well to listen. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. Yes, and we both carry parasites. Hmm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Who is she? Her name is Karlak. 
An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Oh, let's join forces. I'll help you cast this devil back into the Nine Hells. An excellent suggestion, but your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. But my camp went. Splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Should I bite? Throat if you can. Rest if you can. Ahem. Boop. All right, Gail. As much as I like you. <clears throat> Sorry, buddy. Time to go. Well. I've known a few warlocks in my time. Talented, of course. They're sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on their shoulders. <laughs> Comes with the territory, unfortunately. Your enterprising approach to my prop. I do not yet need to consume an item. I'll keep it close by. It will not be too much longer. Okay. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime. Idly. Bit rude, but okay. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. Uh, how does the Blade Frontiers end up chasing a devil into the hells? Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it. And she was planning to return. One of the archdevils Ariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking. The damage she might be doing. Uh, who is this source of yours? A powerful friend with a keen interest in... ...privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. Let's move on to other right. matters. Anything more we should discuss? How'd you become the Blood Frontiers? My father once said... One does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. Uh, what act could be finer than saving life? You must have felt proud. Proud? No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. Well, it's nice to finally put a name to the face. Oh, and before that? Baldur's Gate, born and raised. The only son of a single father. He wanted one life for me. I chose another. We haven't spoken since I left the city. A classic drama. <laughs> a staunch father and his rebellious son. Better heard from the bard's lips than mine. Notice he had a stone... I uh, notice you're a stone, uh, stone eye. Did you lose in battle? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. They actually 
uh, rewrit Will's whole story, I believe, uh, is what they, I believe was what they said. It's interesting to see a lot of the dip, all the differences. And so far, like before, he wouldn't even mention his eye. Now he's like, oh, this is what it is. But I'm not going to go into further detail later about that. Okay, yeah, sounds good. By all means. Anything more we should discuss? I don't suppose you've come across an expert healer in your travels. <laughs> I've come to know a fair few village clerics. But none with the skill to pull these worms from our heads. From what I understand, there's a healer called Nettie in the grove. Perhaps she's got the talent. We should pay her a visit. Oh, unfortunately, I've got no memories. A uh, memory of my past. Could the parasite have done that? Seems unusual to me. Then again, we're talking about tadpoles inserted into our brains by rubber skin tentacle monsters. There's nothing usual about it. All the more reason to stick close. I think you'll agree. Look at this bloodthirst. Nerves destroy, main kill. Anger. I understand. We've been preyed on by elithids, suffered insertion of a mind bending worm. Bloodthirst is another matter. But perhaps not too big of one, if it's a devil or demon's flesh you're wanting to tear. I'd like you to join me. the spirit. The hell? Boop. Will two and three. So Will. Thank you. I will take that warlock level. Uh, learn spells. You have yet to learn hex. Uh, yeah, I will learn hex. And then Eldritch, uh, obviously, Agonizing Blast, and then Devil's Sight. And the Replace spell. Arms of Agathis. Uh, Arms of Hadar, Armor of Agathis. Would I want any of these? Elish Rebuke. Not the rewrite. Uh, well. It is a reaction spell, so maybe. Uh, gain five damage and deal five damage to any creature that hits you with a melee attack. Oh. Do, 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 do. Here's our first multi class Firebolt, even though not really. Uh, friend seems good. Mage Hand seems good. And Minor Illusion seems good. Alright, two spells. No. no. Oh, no. None of those. Um, probably Thunder Wave. And Shield. I wonder if cast a level one or higher. Uh, cast a level one spell or higher. You can fly as a bonus action until the end of your turn without receiving. Oh, right. So we probably actually want underwave. And accept. 
Plate at the ready. Nice. However, I think I might already see a change here. Let me double check something. So if we just do that for night that for right now, we do Oh. Never mind. That's okay. It is not a change, so until he gets level 2 spells, we're actually going to uh, leave him be. We will not be using him, so... Unfortunately, he actually won't be getting level 2 spells until level 4. So he's gonna level up, uh... He's gonna level up spell slots slightly slower than our... Uh... Our, uh... Great Wizard. stands at the ready and just when things were wa what's on your mind with pl all right right past you as if you're invisible mm -hmm. mm. he's still staring right past you see nothing as you turn back the child slips between the rocks you find the edges of a concealed entrance no trigger or handle though no way to open it Hmm. Intriguing. One second, chat. Welcome back, buddy. How are you? 
All right. Here comes possibly a, a rough challenge, chat. Hold out your hand, mister. Go on. Take this ring. It, uh, I never learned names. Anyway, forget that. Oop. Take the ring. I want to show you how lucky it is. Boop. Natural 20. <laughs> Critical success. Weeping, bleeding hells. Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. But since you're already holding the thing, call it heads or tails. Heads. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheat, too. Interested? You can drop the act. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. Ah, this is... Uh, anyone can see this is a modified War Widow scam. The hell it is. You can't do that one with rings. It has to be with bracelets, because... Oh, damn. I just found a YouTube uh, vid of uh, uh, some people ripping into my team's work and they have no idea what they're talking about. I'm tilted, but there isn't anything I can do about it. Oh, high visibility vid too? Oh, God. No, please go on. Last chance. You want to look at my stuff or not? Here's your ring. Let's trade. I knew it. Hang on. That's what I got. And no, I'm not safe scumming. I'm testing I'm testing the um um uh the thresholds of the loads to see if they start uh bugging out because I load so much. It's called testing chat. Last chance. You want to look at my I knew it. Hang on. That's what I got. Nothing caught your eye, huh? You spot the boy giving. <clears throat> Again, just testing the loadout system. That's all, that's all it is. It's like, will it, will, it, will it remain functional after so many reloads? <clears throat> <clears throat> Anyways. Last chance. You want to look at my... I knew it. Hang on. That's what I got. Jeez, no wonder they said people should install on SSD only. <laughs> Nothing caught your eye, huh? Right? Yeah. No, I mean, seriously, it's just like... It, it, there could be issues with the load, so I got to continuously test it. I got to continue and continually test it. <laughs> Anyways. Nothing caught your eye, huh? You spot the boy giving a sly wink as he turns away. What the? 